Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we'll continue to learn about time in pandas. Specifically we'll look at what is period, period index and period range. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here I've created a new notebook and imported three libraries NumPy, pandas and datetime and these are the versions I'm using uh, Python 3.8 now first item that we are going to look at in period period is uh, just the duration so here uh, if we type pd dot period and we can specify the period with different types of frequencies so here i'm going to specify the year 2020 and the frequency would be a dash december so A means annual, so this is the year end frequency. And when we run this, this is the uh, time period, uh, which is the year 2020. Similar to this, uh, we can use different other types of frequencies. So let's say PD dot period. And if we have a date, uh, let's say uh, 2020-08-20 and then if we specify the frequency as one day then we get the frequency which is uh, the day frequency in this case now moving on let's look at a couple more examples so pd dot period Again, if we use the same date 2020-08-20 and if we here if we go ahead and add the hours and 00 as the minutes, then we change the frequency and let's say the frequency is hour, then in that case we see that the period now has the hour in it. We could also go ahead and change this from one hour to more than one hour so if we change this to eight hours that also would give you the frequency uh in the period which has a frequency of eight hours now what does that all mean so let's store the frequency in a variable p and we'll call this p is equal to pd dot period and we'll use 2020 as the year and frequency frequency is equal to a dash dec so the year ends in december now if we print p this is what we have uh, what we can do now is try adding one to the period that we have created p so if we type p plus one then we get uh, the year is changed to 2021 so the increment happens in the year similarly we could try p minus one so we are subtracting one year because the frequency is uh, we have specified here as one year year and frequency we could also go ahead and add five years or we could subtract five years so from 2020 we can we get 2015 after we subtract five years similar to this uh, let's now try a period with months so if we use p is equal to pd dot period and i'm going to use the date 2020-08 uh, let's use 05-20 and then we are going to use the frequency of five months in this case when we print p this is the period that we have now if we add one to this what happens is because the frequency is five months when we add one here we are actually adding five months to the earlier period so it was five zero five and we added five to that so now we have 10 as the uh, frequency or uh, 10 as the period so 2020 10. next uh, if uh, there's one point we need to remember here is that when performing operations with a period it needs to be of the same frequency for example 
if we use the period above and if we want to compare it with pd dot period and if we specify 2020-05 which is the same period as above you can specify the frequency as five months then this will return as true and that is good now if we change let's say change the month here and if we uh, compare these two it returns as false and that's good because uh, the month here is different however we still have the same frequencies so it worked now if we go ahead and change this if we change this to let's say 10 months frequency this will throw an error as we see here input has different frequency of 10 months from period frequency of five months so uh, if we are comparing or working with uh, some operator with two periods they need to be of same frequency moving on let's now look at another example if we use p is equal to pd dot period i will use the frequency r in this case so 2020 dash 08 dash 20 and we'll specify 09 hours and frequency is capital h so that's one hour now if we were to go ahead and add uh, values to this how can we do that there are different ways we can do that one is by uh, adding offsets so p, p plus pd dot offsets and we could add an hour so let's say we are two hours here so what we did was we added two hours to nine and therefore we have 11 in the output apart from this we can also use date time and time delta so we could add p plus uh, a date time so, so from date time we are going to use time delta and here we'll specify minutes is equal to let's say if you want to add 20 minutes so uh, this did not work because the frequency is in hours let's go ahead and change this so instead of 20 we are going to use 120 so that it can be converted into hours and so now we have added 120 minutes so that's two hours to the timestamp and therefore we again get 11 in the output we could also add p plus uh, we can use np dot uh, time delta 64 so time delta 64 and here again we can specify two hours and in the output we see that the two hours were added to the nine hour that we originally had in the period p next let's look at how we can use period and period index and period range so period index and uh, period range so for this we'll go ahead and create a range period range first so similar to date range we are going to use pd dot period range and here we can specify the start so start would be 2020 let's say and month is 08 date is 20th and then we have end end is equal to 2020 uh, let's go to the month of october 10 and then let's put 30th so next we'll specify the frequency so frequency is equal to m so uh, just month and that's the period that we period range that we have created based on months so one month so 0809 and 010 similar to this so this gives us the period index we could also go ahead and cre create the period index directly by specifying pd dot period index with a capital p and capital i and within parentheses we can specify 2020-08 for the first one then again 2020-09 for the second one and then we have 2020-10 for the third one 
and we can go ahead and specify the frequency again here as m so one month and when we print out p there's an error the error is month must be in 1 to 12 and that's my mistake there so we get the same period index as we got before by using the period range now if we can go ahead and add you add months to this as we saw earlier so p plus period dot offsets and we can go ahead and add a month end to this uh, let's say we are two months and we are adding two to eight so we have 10 then 11 and 12 uh, as we see here next let's look at period data type so period period d type so for this if we uh, we the period that we have already been using uh, which was p dot so this is the period we have so p dot d type here we can uh, see that it's the period is month and now we can go ahead and change that so to do the change in the uh, type of period that we have p dot as type open parenthesis and in there within course we need to type period and in square brackets capital d so now we have uh, successfully changed the frequency from month to day similar to this we can change uh, the frequency to date time 64 by typing p dot as type and then within parenthesis and quotes date time 64 and when we run this we uh, we get the period index change to date time index and we have the date type as date time 64 moving on now let's look at how we can uh, use partial slicing with period index so period index and partial slicing slicing Oh, one can spell all right for with this we'll create a new uh, period index pd dot period index and here we are going to type 2020-08-22 and we'll specify the hours 0900 and then for the second time point we have 2020-08-2 uh, in this case we have 21 and again we have 0900 and then finally we have 2020-09-12 and 2020-00 and finally we'll specify here that the frequency is equal to just one month and when we uh, look at the p uh, uh, we see that it's the same month occurring here and then we have the month uh, nine occurring right there now uh, we can use this to with a series so a is equal to pd dot series and we can specify three values one two and three and with this we can specify the index is equal to p uh, it's my mistake and we can specify the index is equal to p and then look at the series so here we were able to create a series which had where we have used the period index as we had mentioned above and we have the 0808 so we have the same month uh, for first two and then the for the last value we have the month of september uh, 09 now we can also use the period index uh, with our data frame so i'm going to go ahead and copy this particular index and make one couple of changes change the so change this day to 22 and uh, i'm gonna add one uh, here to so make 10 minutes and rest uh, we can keep the same and change the frequency to minutes so that's the new period index we have 
and for data frame we'll create a new data frame pd dot data frame and within here i'm gonna go ahead and create a column a which has values one two and three and after this i'm going to create another uh, index here so index is equal to p the one that we have created above and we are going to look at df so as you can see we created a data frame using period index and those appear here uh, as we can see so we have the day 2020 22 uh, in the month of august and the hour is 9 and then it changes to 10 minutes in the second row and last row we have 12th of september so in this case what we can do is we can pick a particular uh, row from the data frame using this particular index so for example we can use uh, this time point where we have the 22 day and we have hour so irrespective of what, how many minutes there are you can uh, use a generalized way to slice the data frame so 2020 dash 08 dash 22 and here if we specify 09 h then what we get is all the records that have the same day date that is specified here and the hour that is specified here so that's how we can uh, slice this particular data frame now above in the series uh, let's pull the series uh, below here now in the series we could uh, do the slicing in a similar manner type a there are a couple of ways we can do this 2020-08 so if we specify that then we'll pull only those records that have this particular year and month combination we could also alternatively type a then 2020-008m and that will give us the same output as we see here so that was it for this video i hope in this video uh, you have learned what is period what is period range and what is period index and how to use uh, these to slice either a data frame or a series in next video we'll continue to look more into this please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you